Hey, it's Jamie Green, the Solar Queen, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some changes that could be detrimental to California and solar. So you want to make sure that you share this video out. It's very, very important because I have a big ask of everyone who uh, will be watching this uh, live and in the replay. So uh, yesterday, there was a, a big announcement that was... Uh, I guess, released by the California Public Utilities Commissioner's Office, and that is to change the net energy metering rules. So um, th this is where I want you guys to go out and even this is for all of California. It's regardless if you own a home, regardless if you have solar or if you are planning to get solar, but this is uh, really, really important um, policy changes that would not only affect and change California solar, but we are the leaders in, in solar adoption. And so it's really, really important that we set the precedence and stop what the CPUC and utility companies are trying to accomplish with the new net energy metering 3.0. Um, so I'm going to make this really quick because I have to go pick up my kids in a few minutes. But this is the website that you're going to want to go and visit and sign. So it's www.savecaliforniasolar.org. We need uh, about 100,000 signatures in the next month, a little over uh, a month. Um, January 27th, 2022 is when the CPUC is going to vote on this net energy metering change. Currently, if you have solar, you're either signed up with NEM, the original NEM, or NEM 2.0 if you have gotten solar since 2016 till now. And what that does, what it currently is right now for California is when you go solar, you, you sign a, um, a uh, let's see, a, a NEM agreement with the utility company and it's good for 20 years. And what it does is it moves you over the time of use and it, it also offers net metering. So for instance, if my system overproduces and I don't use all the energy during the daytime, it gets sent out to the grid and gets stored in my net energy. I get a net energy metering credit while the utility company goes and sells that, the excess energy that my solar system generated for my home, they're gonna use that and send it to uh, my neighbors and businesses and schools around me. And they're gonna charge that that uh, customer a premium rate for that. So they benefit, uh, I benefit, it's all good. Um, there's also a $10 monthly connection fee that we pay as a solar homeowner so an, or it, the business. So it's a $10 monthly connection fee to be tied to the grid and for net metering and all of that. We as um, homeowners that have solar, we are still, you know, Reliant on the grid. It's called being grid tied, um, having grid tied solar. It's you have you have to do it to be solar powered, and especially with the utility because we're still you know transferring uh, so uh, energy through the transmission lines. We're just not paying for generation charges. We're no longer having to worry about that because we have our solar systems. But this NEM 3.0, what's going to happen? That there's a, it's like a 240 page document and I haven't signed it, but actually <laughs> I just got off the phone with someone from CalSED, which is the California Solar and Storage Association. Um, and I, I had actually signed up to speak and, um, you know, petition against this change with the governor's office, um, governor's office, I believe it was um, this Thursday, but it's not going to work out with my schedule. So there's other things that we can do that I can do, but I just wanted to get the word out because if this gets passed, this is going to heavily favor the utility companies uh, because net metering 2.0 will go away. It'll still be, you'll be still switched over to time of use, but one huge change is going to happen. And that is the connection fee. Instead of it being a flat $10 a month uh, in, in PG&E territories, like San Diego uh, Gas and Electric, I think is $15 a month. And I believe S uh, Southern California, sorry, uh, Southern California Edison is like $12, 12 to $15 a month just to be connected to the grid. Depending on the system size that your home requires to go solar and to offset all of your energy consumption for the year, uh, they're going to be charging about eight dollars per kilowatt system uh, per kilowatt for the system that your system size that's necessary for your home 
So say an average solar system in California is about seven kilowatts. That is going to be $56 in connection fees that you would have to pay every single month. So $56 for a seven kilowatt system times 12 months, that's $672 that you would have to pay in connection fees to the utility company just to be solar powered. And what this does is it, it's going to make it impossible for some homeowners to make it financial sense to go solar. The bigger the system, and I have homeowners that have 15 and 16 kilowatt system sizes, if that was the case, their connection fee for a 15 kilowatt system is going to be $120 a month just to be solar powered and grid connected. So that is the average that people pay right now currently in PG&E territory to be connected to the grid and have solar power. And this is discussed, you know, with every single homeowner. But this, if, if the CPUC alone gets away with this, it's going to kill solar adoption and growth in uh, the state of California. We're the leaders in um, solar adoption amongst the entire nation. And if other states and their uh, public utilities commissioners see what's happening in California, it could very well set the precedence for the rest of solar adoption and clean energy and whatnot for the country. So we don't want net metering to go away. Uh, the way it works now is you accumulate these credits. You, um, it, you, If you net zero at the end of the year, you don't owe the utility company anything. They don't owe you anything. If you overproduce, the utility company at the end of the year is going to settle up with you and give you pennies on the, the dollar <laughs> for your excess energy that you are um, producing. If you use more energy than the, the your solar system, was designed to generate for you, you're gonna owe the utility company the going market rate for that, that energy. So you wanna make sure you get your system sized properly, but with the NEM 3.0 coming out, uh, it's going to, uh, it's not gonna be as favorable. Um, my understanding from what I've read is it's likely going to be, um, net, it's gonna be settled up maybe on a monthly basis. I'm gonna find out more on it, but. I just wanted to come on and share this with you guys because the vote is coming January 27th, 2022, which is not that far off. And if they get their way, it will go into effect come March. And it will also uh, potentially um, be damaging for the homeowners who already have solar, um, where instead of a 20 year, I think it's a 15 year grandfathered in, and I believe they may be subject to the, um, the, the uh, connection fees. I'm not, I, I, it's, I have to go and do some more research on that. But for the sake of this live stream, I just wanted to come on and share some things that came out yesterday in the news. It's definitely stirring, um, stirring the pot for everyone in the solar industry, everyone that's thinking about solar. It could result in massive jobs um, being totally wiped. Companies that say, no, we're not going to continue selling solar, installing solar in California if the if they get their way. And of course the utility companies are saying it's solar is um, causing uh, issues for homeowners that don't get solar or residents that don't get solar because they're having to increase the rates for them to maintain the grid uh, and all of that. So take it for what you will. This is not favorable for the state of California or the rest of the country, in my opinion. And so I really urge you to go to savecaliforniasolar.org and sign the petition, um, call the governor's office if you are in the solar industry in any capacity and voice your opinion um, and tell Governor Newsom to stop this, <laughs> to put a kibosh on it. Uh, so that is my message for you guys today. It's very important. Um, you're welcome, Noah Falk. Uh, thank you. Um, it's, it's an important message and I wanted to share it on all of my platforms as um, a voice of solar uh, both residential and commercial and for everyone that's in the industry go and do this it's really really important share it with everyone that you can it, um, it, for anybody in california to go and sign and say stop because the more people that speak up um, they should listen and put a kibosh on this and stop it but we all need to band together to save the future of solar in california 
and save the future of our planet and um, helping our planet be cleaner and greener and sustainable. So that's it. I'm going to go pick up my kids now. Have a great, I think it's Tuesday. It feels like Wednesday, but have a great Tuesday and share this out, please. Okay. See you guys.